All right, welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms, everybody. I hope that you're ready for some really good uh, cow slang time, because that's what I'm about to do to try to get this challenge here, is just slowly end up taking out all these cows until I get to 250. I actually don't know what's faster, doing it on one or doing it on two. I guess it's a little bit faster if I go on both. I'm so sorry. They're building another spawner right here, so it's just like non-stop clanging. I'm just gonna have to bear with me until I reach 250, but fortunately we have enough cows here. Hey, but anyway, this uh, series brought to you by the Kingdom server. If you feel like hopping on, you can go to play.kingdoms.games. IP is linked in the description, as well as the title of the Twitch stream if you're tuning in live and you wanna come on. Build a kingdom of your own, participate in everything that there is to participate in. It's uh, it's good times all around, I'd be inclined to say. It's pretty cool. So I'm just trying to complete some battle pass challenges. And uh, yeah, dude, so new mechanic for how our kingdom is working in regards to raids. Um, so I guess it's kind of going to be like the, the YouTuber setup. Um, because of how much we get targeted. It's basically, rather than having shield bubbles, um, they inverted it. So Beijing Canadian instituted basically, it's a permanent shield bubble, and then in my PV, which I'll open up in a moment, we have anti-shield bubbles. So it's like we can activate that when we want to participate in the raids. And, uh, okay, there we go. I got a lot of, I got a lot of food there, and now I'm super over that sound, so let's, uh, dip out on here. Um, so that way, yeah, when we want to participate, we can participate, but we also don't have to, like, worry about getting absolutely wrecked. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot to start in this. Wait. Zoom, zoom track. During stream, zoom, zoom is spookles only. Oh my god, dude, it's gotten even gnarlier. Welcome to the Monaco Grand Prix, the real one. It just happened earlier today, but this, this is the real Monaco Grand Prix right here, dude. Just wild, wild. Look at this. Look at this absolute speed, Lewis Hamilton. You ain't got nothing on me, dude. Do you see? I'm teleporting faster than you can teleport your F1 car around the track. Okay, dude. Freaking gnarly, unbelievable speed. Just unreal. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, whatever. Might be more Indy 500 because it's going around kind of an oval. Psh, psh. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Okay, let me uh, let me check this. I'll just throw some stuff in here. Super organized. The oh, enchanted leather. I wonder what that does. Value a thousand coins. Huh. The more you know. Do I just like sell that over at the place? I guess. Yeah, probably. All right, that's cool. Blake is soup school. Thank you for the seven months. Nan Fuzzbear, thank you for the ten months. And also since the last stream is Skylar Seven Twenty Blood Shard and Worldwide Fall, all with the subs, the subaroos, the Subarus. Could turn Twitch into a big advertisement for Subaru because it's like, you know, sub Subaru Subaru. Yeah, for sure. You you know what I mean. Definitely good. Definitely the best. Um, Cool. Let me snag some more resources here. Get some things sold, you know, not enough inventory space to take any more. Oh, did I not get to take all these? Yep, 335 left. They can't generate more resources if you ain't collecting them. So we got to just make sure that we're constantly snagging the resources. And hopefully we'll get a diamond generator at some point. That'd be super cool. Dude, look at all the parrots. It's it's wild. Okay, there are so many parrots out here. It's ridiculous. What are we gonna do with all of these parrots? Oh, wait, there's some more gold over here. Ooh, 342 gold, yup. 345 gold, yup. Oh my god, then 500? Yeah, I don't mind if I just collect all this right quick. Doesn't seem like anyone else snagging it real quick, so. All right, let's do that, and then grab the rest of you and you, and you're generating things, and then we got you. Bro, so much to go around. I might actually make it to uh, 300K. Wait a minute, did I miss? Uh, oh, that's where I capped out, right over there. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, there's some more. Oh, there's some more, and 300K. 
Okay, what we really need though is we need some diamond generators and then everything will be super duper cool. Um, also, we have 200 chunks claimed, which seems kind of crazy. Like, I, I did not realize that we had that much. Are there any kits that I can unlock? Oh, I forgot to get those. Shoot. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I need to do those like every... Ah, I forgot to do them last stream. When I checked it, they were on like a three minute cooldown and then I forgot to actually do it. I can't believe I've done this. Can't believe I've done this. Cherry Fox, thank you for doing the sub thing. Much appreciated. Well, anyway, I guess I'm gonna run to my uh, post box. Wait, what is it? A slash. I forget the command for it. Uh, let me go over to here. I'll just run over, dude, and I'll just snag it right here, dude. All right. Oh, I did get a new thing, though. From, oh, all right. Let's check my PV, though, because I should have, okay, it's not in there. Uh, where is that? PV2? Okay, anti-shield bubbles. Cool. Um, so these, let's see. Two, one hour, two hours, and eight hours. So if we want to do some raiding up in here, we pop it. And then for an hour, our kingdom will be vulnerable to, like, being able to be raided. So that when we want to participate, like, we can participate, and it's super cool. Oh, we can fight the alpha bandit today if we want to do that. I'm down with doing that. Let's combine you, combine you and then throw all the other sorts of valuable stuff into here and combine you. And we got a spawner spinner, war zone immunity orb. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good to have. Okay, war zone crate, we wanna open that. Seems like some people are intrigued with my appearance here. Uh, let's do some of that and so I could sell some stuff too if I wanted to do that You know that way I could get some monies up in here because I feel like I could use a few monies animated hat unlock Right click to unlock hat option. We also snag this sort of stuff uh, Shield bubbles don't really come into play as much for us anymore at this point. Oh my god, dude this eat wand and this heal wand are just on another level actually it's can you, I wonder if you can split these, probably not. So if I die with that on, it's gonna be like very disappointing. Now 250 use, rare spawner spinner, shield bubble, war zone immunity orb. And okay, peace out everybody, I'll catch you later. Okay, uh, Henzoid, thanks for the 250 bits. Man, I keep checking out all these different, find the difference maps and the titles are getting ridiculous. Someone uploaded one recently called don't unfind the non-difference or something. Oh my god, dude, you're psychic. You must be talking about the map that's actually going to be going up on my channel in about three hours. It's, um, what, oh god, what was the name? It's Don't Not, uh, something, What Doesn't Not Unbelong? I think that's what it is. What Doesn't Not Unbelong? And, uh, okay, Henzoid, um, on top of making frustrating maps, he's also psychic. Good lord. Okay, well, I uh, hope you're looking forward to seeing that one, my dude. Okie dokie, so let's throw... Sh oh, God, we're filled up here. I should segment out my stuff, actually. Maybe put all the diamond things in a chest here rather than inside of my PV. Actually, though, like, no, nah, no. Nah. Oh, my Lord. The green mohawk is the parrot magician master. Look at this. Snow White, is that you? Oh my god. Well, anyway, uh, let's see, I'll do PV2, actually, and no, no, I'll do PV3 for all of the diamond stuff. I could sell some if I wanted to as well. I also gotta check out what the whole, um, oh, sacred recipe. Let me grab that, put it in like PV1 with all the other stuff that I have. Ooh, all these sacred recipes, goblin skins, things like that, dude. Shield bubbles don't really matter. Um, there's some immunity, some bows, you know, actually let's take the tools, we'll put them in the other one. And then, sorry, I know it's, it's all kinds of like tedious, just arranging things, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Okay, that seems good. Now let's place all these things down. Actually, okay, what does the animated hat unlock do? Slash hats to view your hats. 
Evolve a hat that evolves and unlocks new tiers that can be enabled individually. Click to enable. I don't have a helmet now. That's that's the only thing that's a problem that I see. Um, this is... Uh, I feel like this would be kind of distracting. You hit the nail on the head, Randolph. Exactly what I was thinking. I don't know if I want this. Yeah. Wait, are you telling me I can't take this off? Oh. Oh, Niall has it too. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that off? How do I... No, put... oh, disable hat. Okay, there we go. That's... I've had enough. And let's do PV1 again. And put you into there. All right, see then. Everything is quite good, yes? Okay, good. I've got a dirty mind. <laughs> oh, that's a good pun right there. Man, how did I miss that one? That's a clever, clever one. Top-notch pun. Woo! All right. Oh, God, why am I yawning? Uh, okay, let me open some stuff here, dude. See what we get over here with the Warzone crates and all that stuff. What have we got? Maybe one of these days I'll get something like, I don't know, exciting from a Warzone crate, but that day is probably not today. Yeah, super soup. Okay, that's pretty super duper. Uh, always get some peasant gear. I mean, you know, wouldn't be a Warzone chest without a bit of peasant gear, right? I wonder if I could go and um, sell my peasant gear in the auction house for like a dollar. No, there's a minimum, right? You can't list it for super duper low numbers. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got sea lemons with the three months. Thank you for doing that. Mr. Papa Verache. Thank you for, oh wait, come on, give me that. Give me that, don't give me, ah, oh, it's gonna give me just eggs. Dumb. I won the spawn cow, yes, very exciting, okay. Uh, Mr. Papa Verace, thank you for the 200 bits. You know what would be funny is if you made a custom map of what doesn't belong, but instead you make it for the map creators to play that you have already tried their maps in your puzzles. You can get your payback with solutions. can be super frustrating. No, oh, and then you're not gonna give me the, you're gonna give me frickin' frick. Nothing from even a frickin' rare spawner spinner. Um, wait, I don't know if that means like I'd be building my own map or something, but I, I don't know, my dude, I don't know. Henzoid, thank you for the 250 bits. Just checked, apparently the one I'm playing is made by Super Trinity. Glad to see him back in the map making world, especially since he took like a four year hiatus. Oh, I'm, I'm glad that what doesn't un, not unbelong brought back an old, uh, old, old person back into the world. That's dope. Just CPU, thank you for the three months. Miss Isla, thank you for the 11 months at tier two. I Chorus, thank you for doing the old sub aru. Okay, where are we going to put this? In, in the chest, that's a mess. Definitely that. Uh, do I care about a stone pickaxe? No. Do I care about an iron? No, maybe. I'm gonna throw the peasant rags in the fountain. If anyone retrieves them, then good for them. Alrighty then. Uh, what else do we have on the old BP over here, dude? We have got some. God, I'm only halfway through and this is week two. Oh, mine 64. Obsidian in the kingdom world. I know that you guys would love for me to mine 64 obsidian without an in, uh, efficiency pickaxe. Mm, I wonder what's, um, God, that's going to take ages. That's going to be grindy AF. What about week three? Are there any, like, not too crazy? Mine 100 diamonds. Purchase a super soup from a kitchen blueprint. Oh, maybe we could do that. Spawn two gold factory blueprint and collect a thousand refined gold. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. I should have done that freaking stuff. Well, oh, man. Well, at least it's ticking up now, but yeah. Uh, kill a hundred monsters with a bow. Whew. 
Travel uh, 10,000 blocks in the war zone world. Oh my god, obtain one Forsaken Coal from the Forsaken Forge. I feel like I could do that. And let me let me at least collect a little bit of gold for the time being. That way I can work on my way, you know? Uh, I'm Tanner83, thank you for the nine months. Happy Twitch, baby. And uh, thank you for the kind words. Very much appreciate. Architect Mason, thank you for the sub as well. Ooh, we might actually be able to get pretty close. 76% and 99%. Oh, right, because I just, I got a thousand, now I just need to spawn two gold blueprints. That's going to be tricky, though. I don't actually know how I'm going to get those. Hmm. I'll ask the others. Hey, would anyone happen to have any gold blueprints that they've just been like, nah, I'm, I'm waiting to spawn until Jordan's on. Oh, man, I wish mm. I would have waited because I just put a uh, tier three down. Oh, like dang. Like at the start of stream. Well, that would have been really expensive, right, for me to It do, would, or... but we could have slash paid or something for you to have that. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. Bummer. <laughs> sorry about that timing. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Not a problem, not a problem. Um, I do actually have a one of the alpha bandit uh, bosses, if we have any interest in trying anything like that. Yeah, we probably could. Should we uh, do we that have, down like, here? Special... Yeah, that might work. I was going to say we don't have a special arena like we did last time, but as long as we've got a corner, I think we'll be okay. Probably cool. And then we can uh, just eat golden apples like we did last time. Yeah. All right. Do we... I mean, is four people going to be enough? I can't remember. Um, I did send a notification out to some people, so we might have some people trickling in a little later. Um, but we could probably do it with the four of us, I imagine. Okay. If, if we've got enough golden apples and diamond armor and all that. It is the super one, so. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, they spawn in the war zone now, so I've actually randomly? fought quite a few of them. Not randomly, really. They're at the west outpost. It's kind of the bandit outpost now. Oh, okay. There's different kinds of bandits that spawn regularly. Right. And the alpha bandit spawns every once in a while. And um, I'm gonna... Normally what we do is we stand under a bunch of trap doors so that it can... Because it's gonna teleport to uh, a player every once in a while. Right. And so we everyone just stands in a circle around it and then just moves around as it moves around. And the trap doors will keep it in place so it can't actually walk. Huh. Uh, I can't... So, I don't know what that looks like. Just entirely based I, I on description. It. Okay, you're going to set up the trap doors? Yeah. Cool. Did we say where we were going to do this? Or should I just set this up? Just somewhere anywhere. down. There. I mean, I assume... Yeah, anywhere okay. here on the bedrock is probably cool. All right. I'm doing it over here in this corner then. Cool. Oh my god, I'm out of arrows. Is there a place to buy arrows? I don't think so. Oh. But, um... You just have to make them with chickens? Make them or f get them from skeletons. Okay. We do have a skeleton spawner. Uh, we just don't have it turned into a mob grinder yet, unless someone else did it and I didn't notice. Where, no, it's still a... Where's the skeleton spawner? Uh, so, over here. See me? Wait, hold on. Uh, yeah. And over here. Oh, like an actual skeleton spawner. Like a vanilla spawner, yep. Huh. Is that actually, is that the only way to do it? No, they have uh, server skeleton spawners also. We just don't have any yet. Huh. What do you know? Wait, do they not actually fight? No, they don't fight you either. <laughs> oh. They just stand there and look off into the distance as you Poor guy. Them. Wait, did you guys like coincidentally find this and just get lucky enough to not chunk nuke it? Yeah. Uh, yep. Oh, wow. And we also found a, a zombie spawner, but that was changed to a blaze spawner by uh -huh. a mod. Oh. Yeah, so we have a blaze spawner in our uh, kingdom too here. That's pretty cool. Uh, hold on, let me... Actually, man, I have a challenge to uh, kill skeletons and another to shoot mobs with arrows, so... Oh, actually, I could I could shoot skeletons and then I'd be tackling two things at once. Wow. Okay, so where's the blaze thing? The blaze thing is on the other side, so... 
if you just follow me. And then we'll go through this cave here. Or actually, I cut a little hole up. Whoops. Yeah, down here. Oh. And do they not fight either? Nope. Poor things. Well, I guess, uh... What the heck? Why can't I fight it? Um... Oh, when it's oh, it's right on the uh, it's right on our border. Yeah, the yeah, it's actually on the border. So, um, where are are our like two hundred chunks that we have claimed basically just this whole hall? Does it occupy that many? No, it's here and the old base too. Okay, but all together that does big. equal like two hundred. Yeah, that's wild. Mm -hmm. Man, how did we live before with like not two hundred? I know, just a little island. Crazy, dude. Crazy. So we didn't get hit by any raids prior to the protection being activated? We did, uh, but it wasn't yeah. a particularly bad raid. Okay. And they, I, I saw that they must not have, like, griefed everything at the other place? Yeah. Um, I I fixed it up a little bit because there was a little bit of griefing, but not, not as bad as it uh -huh. was. So it's mostly repaired now. Cool, cool. That's good to know. Um, so which of you guys have the battle pass? I have the battle pass. Okay, cool. Cool. Week three, dude, is getting real crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, make sure you've got... You have to select the week that you want to work on. So, like, if you have week two selected and then you do a week three challenge, it won't count. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I think it... Oh, I yeah, I, I have week not. three selected right now. Right. Well, yeah. Well, in that case, then just make sure you're not doing any week two right, challenges. Right, right, right. Like um, participating in a raid or mining 500 ores or something. Mm -hmm. Cows, all that. Gotcha, yeah. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, I see we can't- we can't claim this chunk over here, that's why it wasn't done. I was like, why wouldn't we just do that? Oh, I see. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, the one person who's found us, this is the corner that their kingdom is at, is over there. Oh. Mm -hmm. God, how did they do that? I don't know. <laughs> they found us a while ago, too, before we had anything here. It was just probably- Oh, it was part. even before, like, I came here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. this was before we put any of these factories here. Oh my god, dude. It was just a blank area, and they already found us. Only one person. Yeah, it was like the, the very next day. I don't understand. <laughs> I think it's just like, they just literally do the RTP, and then they look at K-Map to see what's nearby. Oh, okay. And so, you know, with so many people, it's only a matter of time. Gotcha. If only we could disguise our claim. Right. Just change the name for each claim. Yeah, I have a, we should have a nickname for our kingdom. Shoot. Uh, let me make a Forsaken Coal, if I can. Is that tough? I don't think so. I think it's uh, just a matter of having enough coal. Uh, oh, is it literally just coal for it? If I remember right, I think it's like 500 coal. Okay. Cool. And we've got blocks of coal, so... Yeah, I assume we'll be pretty good. Yeah, did you want to do something with that uh, sacred recipe? Uh, I mean, do we have the resources needed to make everything? I have no idea. I haven't even looked at it. So, oh. is it in your PV? Uh, it is, yes. I think maybe you have to go to the sacred crafting table or something to look at that. I'm not sure. You do, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Niall, do you know if that's the only one we have? I know that I don't have any. Okay. So. All right, let me see. So 500 coal, you say. I'll just take a block. Stack of blocks there and check this out. 
Okay, so I have um, two sacred recipes, one for an obsidian helmet and one for the set box greed. Um, so I can check both of them. Uh, let's see, where did I leave off? Nightmare Joker, thank you for the two months. Skunktronic, thank you for uh, tier two sub. Much appreciated, dude. Rare to see, rare to see. Uh, Jake and Blake, thank you for the three months. Deity Kratos, thank you for the sub. Kiri Gaia, thank you for the sub as well. Septic Gang, thank you for the two months. And Tatima, thank you for the two months. Appreciate it. Okay, let's check out what these look like over here. All right, I'm at the Even sacred crafting is... table. Gonna check this out. Oh, yeah. So, obsidian uh, helmet requires oblivion stone. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I've heard people talk I've about got, those, but I'm not sure what they are. I've got some of those. It's just a crafting component, and you get it from mining obsidian. Oh, is it just a random drop? You don't have to do any, like, refining? Yeah, I got two of them from mining I think uh, just over two stacks of obsidian huh so maybe it's like one out of 64 oh, or something then like I that. should like go and <laughs> I should do that challenge that's mine 64 obsidian and then I might be able to actually get good stuff that's yeah, yeah cool. you can do that it'll be super grindy of course I have a, an, obs uh, an oblivion stone if you want one Ah, uh, but it needs five of them to make the helmet, so... Oh, okay, yeah. Never mind, then. Um, I think I also saw that that obsidian set gives you, like, fire protection and maybe fire healing? Fire healing, yep, it does. What? Yeah. You can jump into fire? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and heal from it. Okay, that's pretty cool. And All if right. I remember, right, it has another function that hasn't been announced yet. Mm. Oh, oh, my guy twerked for a Forsaken Coal, like, immediately. Bro, he's so quick about it. Dang, he's gotten fast. Yeah, dude, his twerking is unparalleled. <laughs> okay, so I got a Forsaken Coal now. Exciting. And then, all right, I, I mean, I could, I could just grind for some obsidian really quick. You didn't have to have any sort of special mining skills or anything in order to make that happen? Nope, it's just a random drop from mining okay. obsidian. And when it comes to obsidian mining, are there... Wait, what's the command for uh, for mining levels and stuff? Slash mining. Okay. Is there a particular one that's best to level up if you're going to be just mining obsidian? I think it just... No, not, a, not for obsidian. Nothing oh, wait, what about that. treasure miner? I don't... Um, that might have increased the rates. I've already got my treasure miner up, so I'm not treasure, sure. Treasure miner drops coal, iron. Like that's how you level it up. It'll drop a random coal as you're mining, um, and then later on you can get random drops of iron, gold, diamond, etc. Oh, it says okay. It yeah. says adds so, the ability to find special things. It doesn't say there's upgrade miner upgrades ores that are mined into the next best thing. But treasure miner yeah. sounds. Treasure miner yeah, is the same as upgrade. Yeah, the, I mean, I've upgraded my treasure miner because I, you know, as I do mining, it's nice to get some vanilla resources. But that's pretty much what you get um, if you level it up. I think to level five, you start getting ancient shards and ancient relics as random drops, hmm. and those can have some more fancy stuff. Okay. Yeah, they don't affect the obsidian stuff though. I think. Well, I'll level it. How many levels do I have? I have. That's that five. is the one I leveled up though. So. I mean, there's no point in doing Vein Miner if I'm just mining Obsidian, right? Right. Oh, yes, hey, no, it says right. Treasure Drops, Coal, Ancient Shard, Ancient Relic. Oh, right. Okay, so it, it's always got Ancient Shard and Ancient Relic, and then it adds Coal, Iron, Gold. That makes sense. And Diamond. Okay, I just... Um, your mining level must be at least 25 to upgrade any ability above level 5. Woo! Yeah, they changed that. That's wild. Yeah. It was a nice way of nerfing it, though, I think, because, you know, you could get top tier stuff like that last time, and it was pretty overpowered. Oh, really? If you just spent your first 10 levels on uh, the treasure miner, you could get some pretty nice stuff. Dang it. I wanted it. 
<laughs> all right, all I have to do now is mine 64 obsidian, and then <laughs> everything will be great. It'll be the most exciting thing that the world has ever witnessed. Wow, we. Welcome to Obsidian Mining Simulator. Oh, dude, this is great. I mean, it's it's similar to the uh, Roblox like unboxing thing I was doing in terms of just like grinding and <laughs> unboxing things. Exactly. So Except basically, right now I'm just breaking a bunch of the boxes in that thing. So yeah, and some of them can give me rewards, so it actually it works out. This is Minecraft yeah, version of Unboxing Simulator. Just have to break like 64 of them and you can get your level up. I wonder how many mining levels I'll get from 64 obsidian though. Hmm, probably quite a bit depending on your level. I got a level up for six obsidian. Oh boy. <laughs> if only one of them could actually give you something like efficiency, that would be really nice. Yeah, we need those emerald picks like last season. That would be good. That would be really nice actually. Is that still a thing? Those still exist, I, right? I'm not sure. Huh. They might. Actually, don't we have some emerald chunks? We would need to find the recipe, though, right? Do, yeah. Oh, that's right. We would mm -hmm. need that now. I think. I don't know. Yeah. It's not we just. It's not just three emeralds on top of two sticks. I don't think. No, it's not. That's a. If anything, it's going to be a, a sacred recipe. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's going to take us quite a while to find one. It was um, on top of obsidian instead of sticks. Right. Well, and then in this case, it would probably be the uh, Oblivion Stone now. Ah, uh, yeah. Probably true. Give me a sec. Rush Zone TV, thank you for doing the sub for three months. Much appreciated. Yeah, dude, I, I'm just gonna... I, I just... I want to see if I can get those Obsidian Shards, and then I can make the helmet. Because uh, apparently we have two of them, so if I mine, and if he got the two from mining a stack, then if I mine a stack, I could get two or three, and then we'd be set. I could make the helmet, and that would be the first kind of special item I've managed to get. But god, if we get like full set on obsidian, then we get to jump into lava in order to heal. How cool is that? Anyway, oh my god, that would actually be amazing for raids, because you know how when you're defending a raid, uh, people dump lava all over the place, like on top of the, the gate that people use to enter and so you'd be able to swim through that while healing and be able to like merc people who are trying to get into your kingdom that would be super good so i'd be down to get it anyway um yeah dude this is basically just unboxing simulator in minecraft because we have a, a small percent chance of getting something cool like a hat but not a hat i've already gotten my hat for the day and it's too obnoxious it spits out dirt so not into it. Um, if you're watching on YouTube though, and you're like, I would like you to finish with this, then just scrub forward, and when I'm out of the dark mining obsidian, well, you'll know that I'm done. Although I might actually clear out this area, and then I'm gonna have to find another lava lake. So, anyway. Yeah, no, I know I need the, the full set of obsidian in order for that to happen. I'm aware. But anyway, if uh, if anyone has some Q&As to Q, I can A, and maybe we'll pass the time away. Hey, pretty cool. Pretty cool. GT update? It's in my garage. Here, my garage just got this uh, new-ish Ford GT here. Fun to drive around the Hollywood Hills. Um, did I not mention that it was back? I, I, sh oh well, I guess I mentioned that it was. Right, it came back and they had to fix the pedal box. Um, the pedal box was fixed quite quickly, fortunately. Um, the the head tech, he stayed like pretty late that night and managed to get it sorted. And now I can officially reach the pedals. Short people problems, you know? So yeah, I went for a drive yesterday morning. Everything seems to be functioning just fine. So happy to have it back in the garage. Mm hmm. How old am I? I am 27 years old, unfortunately. When is the next SMP Live? Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Probably in the next few days. Um, I don't think there's going to be one today, though. But don't you worry. It shall continue. When is the best time to upload a post to my subreddit? Dude, I have no idea. Uh, I would say the only time that's probably bad to upload a post to the subreddit would be on Wednesday morning. 
because if you up upload on Wednesday morning, then it probably won't have enough time to make it up to the top. Even if it's a quality post, it just won't have had the time because I record on Wednesday morning. So if you might end up like posting 10 minutes before I go to record. But then the problem is by the time it comes around to the next week, your post will be over a week old. And so I won't be able to see it. So I'd say there's not necessarily a best time, but there is a worst time. So just keep that in mind. What's your all time dream car? Uh, I mean, I always say the Mercedes 300 SL from a vintage perspective or a GT40 or something, even though I'd be intimidated as heck to actually drive one. And, um, yeah, dude. Let's see. Hmm. 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 Um. Let's see what else we got, dude. Have I seen Aladdin? I've seen the original Aladdin. I've not seen the new Aladdin. I didn't even realize that the new Aladdin was out yet. So, I don't know if I'm gonna end up watching it or not. I'm not sure. Uh, how tall are you? 5'10", according to Google. 5'7", according to a tape measure. So I'm not sure what to believe, actually. Okay, where is the other obsidian? Sorry for the... Oh, there's some more over here. It's going to be like, sorry for people on uh, on the YouTube. Um, you thought that I was done obsidian mining, but I was not. You were mistaken. Favorite way to subscribe to a tw Twitch streamer? Um, obviously... The favorite way would be, you know, the old tier three subaru. I don't think there is a person with a tier three sub on my channel, actually. Might have been one at one point. Oh god, if there actually is someone with a tier three sub, I apologize. There are a few people with tier twos, but obviously tier three is, you know, the favorite for for definitely for sure. Mm. Anyway, are you gonna do more UHC after the one I'm playing right now? I don't know. I've never organized a UHC other than the charity one um for that one series a while back so i couldn't make any promises but we'll see if i'm invited to it i'll participate also it seems like there's some rumblings of like a youtuber hungry games or something so maybe yeah i don't i don't know dude i don't know i also do yes i like twitch prime twitch prime is good twitch prime is great if you have an amazon account and you don't have it connected to your twitch account what are you doing with your life AKA me. I actually don't have my Amazon and Twitch accounts connected. <laughs> Am I a hypocrite? Maybe. But, you know, I'm also old, and so I don't have the technology to figure out how to do that. <laughs> oh, boy. I am the worst. I am the worst. Anyway, let's see. I do. I actually don't know how people live without Amazon Prime, period. Like, forgetting about the whole Twitch Prime component, which is just a nice added bonus. It's like, bro, just just think about all that. Sometimes one day, sh sometimes sh same day shipping for free. It's just wild, dude. It's just wild that, that, that that's a thing. Sometimes, yeah, they'll deliver to the wrong address. Sometimes that happens. But most of the time, it gets to you. So, anyway, um, what's the story behind the big city in TNT? I don't, I don't know. I never actually made the big city that I allude to in TNT. It was just, it was a lyric. So yeah, dude, I don't know. I'm gonna type GG with everyone. Uh, okay. Anywho. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. What is my favorite word? Oh, I don't know, dude. There are so many words. The is a good word. It's very, it's very useful. Also, and, and is a pretty great word. The GG was for a guy who just ranked up to VIP. I was just, everyone in chat was GGing. So I was like, oh, I might as well GG as well. For sure. Um, what is my favorite series ever? Now you mean like a, a TV show kind of series or something like that? Probably either be like Dragon Ball Z or Breaking Bad or something. Kind of, kind of different between the two, but they're both pretty dang good. Why not vein mine the Obsidian? God, I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I forgot to vein mine the Obsidian. So dumb. 
Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Favorite animal? Uh, the Kowoka? Kowaka? I, it's funny that I don't know how to pronounce my favorite animal's name, but it's it's spelled weirdly. So if you look it up, though, you'll know it's it'll be your favorite animal, too. Um, it's like Q-U-O-C-C-A. And it'll probably, Google will know what you're trying to type and autocorrect it, but it is, it's, it's the best animal in the world. You go look it up right now. You go, you go look up that Kowaka and you'll be like, oh my God, I have a new favorite animal. This is the most amazing thing. Oh, it's Q-U-O-K-K-A. Gotcha. Gotcha. They're the best. They're the number one animal. You've been to Kwaka Island? There's a Kwaka Island? Oh, I don't like to travel that much, but one day I might have to go to Kwaka Island. This is the final piece of obsidian, too. Kwakas are the happiest things to exist uh, in the entire world. There we go! Battle Pass 18. Are they trying to talk to me? Hi, were you, did you have a thing? I just finished my obsidian mining. Oh, you finished the challenge? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I got some... I, I was going to help you out with the obsidian thing, but if you got it, it's all good. Oh, what were you going to do? Well, I've got a, I set up a obsidian mining thing over here. Oh yeah. It's you something know. that, yeah, I did this also before on, on the old oh, fancy uh, season, but yeah. So you can like AFK it. Sort of. I mean, you have to be holding your keyboard, but right. Mostly, but you could, you could yeah. just tape down your W key and then, yeah. That's cool. Right. That's cool. Um, if that's, if that's uh, in allowance with the rules, then yes. Yeah, for sure. I don't see why. I'm not sure. Be. I didn't get any obsidian chunks, though, unfortunately. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Hmm. I got one like within my first 16, I think. Really? So, cool, dude. Want, I'm glad I have get... good luck. <laughs> well, it's unless you have five of them, it's not really going to do much. Oh, right. Yeah. I've got three. I did have a couple people offering to give me some. So. Hmm. Oh, look at that. That's a fancy looking thing. Yeah. Just in sacred right here. You can hold on to it in the meantime. Because if you find more, then you go ahead and do the thing yourself. Okay. Do you know what the, are the recipes one time use? I think they are, yeah. Mm. Man, that's rough. That's real mm -hmm. rough. Indeed, yeah. It is. Okay, let's see. What else goes into the set box greed? Now I can go back over, check it out. Oh, let's see what we got here. I just want to see. I think it has four Forsaken Coal, which we could definitely make. Oh, um, yeah, we can do that. Actually, I think we could make like a lot of this stuff, except the Greed Shard is probably tough. Have we got Forsaken? We have Forsaken Emeralds, right? Or we have Emerald Shards, or what? Which ones do we have? Um... Well, we have vanilla emeralds. I think that's how you get the forsaken emeralds. Oh, okay. Um, it's not the it's not one of the fancy emerald shards. Gotcha. I I thought we had some. Let me go check. Oh, we need a hundred goblin skin for the greed shard. That's the problem. Dang, do dang. That's rough. I mean, we could get the other stuff. How much is it for gold? Of which we need four. It's a thousand gold, which I think we actually have. If we're talking about the uh, the charge the emerald gemstones, I have six of those. No, it's not those. I didn't think so. Okay. But I was more I clarifying think, for Troy. Yeah, I think that's what I thought we had, and I didn't see it in the storage. So, all right, that makes sense. It's fifty emeralds, though, which is basically half of our current. I mean, I can I could do this, uh, except hey, that's for the there for. except for the greed shard. That's the only problem. Greed shard. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How do how do we obtain that? Hundred goblin skins. Get a lot of lily pads. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, I actually Eat have these twenty. Nice. I have twenty goblin skins from killing alpha bandits. Oh yeah, we we should do that. Okay, you were setting up the stuff, and I I totally got sidetracked. So, do we want to do that? Yeah. Let me. I think so. Stuff. Yeah. I've got a. I've just got a bunch of trap doors over here. <laughs> I might put some more down, actually. Yeah, 
Yeah, if possible, we want to have um, heel wands and golden apples. Okay. Oh, yeah, golden apples for sure. Do we want someone yeah. just tanking with a golden apple? We can, but I don't think that's really going to be the best strategy here. It's okay. really just going to be a standing in a circle around it and then just moving as it teleports to one of us and okay. just kind of readjusting where we're standing. Because that, that, that's what me and everyone else has been doing in the war zone. Speaking of that, um, Skyflings or Scyflings, yeah. I've been chilling with them in the war zone a lot, and they, they want to ally with us. So if you're down, I'm down to ally with Scyflings. Okay. That sounds, that sounds good to me, though. That sounds good to me. S sweet. Yeah, they've been pretty curious about that. So awesome. Okay. Uh, I need to do a little bit of iron. Yeah, all we will be missing after this is the old uh, the old goblin skins. Hmm. Well, at least I've got 20 of those. And now that we've got these two zombie spawners, I bet we can get that pretty fairly quickly. Okay, cool. Depending on the grind. All right, yeah, after I finish up with this, then um, we can do the alpha bandit. Sounds good. Which is a 500 iron. Man, coal and iron are on the same level of need it, uh, needing lots for each thing. Hmm, wow. Uh, thank you, who buddy there for the 500 bits. Much appreciated. Will you be letting more people join the kingdom anytime soon? Um, it's, I think, mostly just going to be at the mods discretion on the Discord. We're going to be fishing people out of the Discord. Um, not that I want to, like, keep it just isolated to people who are subs and stuff, but it actually does kind of help filter out potential bad actors um, who might just grief because really don't want to just get back on one day and be like, oh, cool, everything is destroyed because someone decided to be rude so anyway um i think that's mostly going to be like mod stuff but right now i don't know how many people do we have on like like 10 people in the kingdom or something one two and then how many more three okay let's do and cool all right so i think we have everything actually except for the uh goblin shards Cool. What is this pocket change? Here you go. Oi, this be lovely to go along with my five million others. Mwahaha. He has some good, good line. Oh, we have 16 people at the moment. Oh boy, dude, we got a massive kingdom, bro. Oh wait, not that one. We're in what? PB3? No, PB4 is where I'm sticking this stuff. Yes, yeah, so that's everything um, except for the stuff all right wow. cool um ready whenever all right i think we got Sweet. it all set up awesome 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 okay so just some golden apples and heel wand heel super wand. soups maybe um oh actually i just remember yes well i don't know about super soup but um I've I keep hearing back and forth as to whether axes do better against bandits or not. Huh. So it's like a regular I, axe. Yeah, like a diamond axe, I guess. Hmm. But um I've been told by multiple people that they're better and that they're not any better. Okay. I think they are better because it seems like little... things tick down a little more faster. But we I we... thought we have no PVP cooldown at all. There's not, no. But I think the axe might do more damage to bandits. Mm. Oh, it's just, it's like specifically a thing with bandits being weaker to axes. Right. Huh. Yes. Okay. Well, interesting. 
Um, I mean, I got my sword. I, I could grab an axe just in case. Because I remember that whole drama back when uh, Hunger Games was a huge thing. Axe versus sword. Mm. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I was. I was all about the uh, sword. Uh, whose axe is that? I got mine. We good. Uh, oh, I was just putting it down. Mm. If anyone needs it, it's it's yours. Okay, so um, I so have got the thing. Sorry. Is it worth having arrows to go with a bow for this, or just melee it? Oh yeah, right. It deflects arrows anyway. Uh, yeah, and withers us. All right. Where should I po uh, put this down? Uh, just anywhere, and he'll follow us. Remember to but, put yeah. uh, gapples in your offhand. Oh, true. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, actually, that's not going to work until I place down the thing. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boop. Wait. Oh, right. I got to confirm and claim my prizes. <laughs> oh, also, um, shift and jump, <laughs> and that'll do the thing. Shift and jump, and that'll do the thing? Like, um, what are they called? Better Critical hits? hits? Yes, crit. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Wait, how come he's not, like, really hurting people? He's attacking me, mostly. Oh, okay. Ow. Ow. Rude. Ah! So are we all using axes here? I'm trying the whole axe strategy. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying, yeah. Man, I'm this is working so much better than before. What the heck? <laughs> oh, man. Someone died. I've got all their stuff. Oops. So what is it exactly that the trap doors are doing again? They're keeping him from walking around. Okay. Or else yeah. he'd be zooming around in circles, hitting us gotcha. like crazy. Like Why does it work that way? Baby zombie. Because he's tall. Okay. He's taller than we are. It looks like he's about <laughs> like two and a quarter blocks tall. Yeah. Oh, no. Guess what? It's not all fun and games being tall, huh? Sometimes <laughs> it's better to be short. Like, either 5.7 or 5.10, depending upon if it's Google or a tape measure. Right. <laughs> That's the perfect, like, height. It's like the sweet spot, so I hear. Yeah, I'm like six foot six one, so it's a pain. <laughs> yeah, dude, life must be rough, bro. So, yeah, you yeah, would be the bandit really in this situation. Just getting beat up by short people, it's terrible. Yep. Hey, that ties in with another conversation we had. Talking about those kids. What How, kids? Was, How many goals? kids would it take? Yeah. <laughs> How many kids would it take to what? To uh, to fight uh, to fight you. Oh yeah, 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 that. Oh, that was a good conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was great. Yeah. yeah. Somebody seems to have picked up my axe because I accidentally dropped it. Oh, I've got it. Come over here. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, at this point, I think as little as one child would be able to take me down because I'm, like, very sensitive <laughs> in in the groin region. So just, like, oh, yeah. one one tiny little flick or something, and I'd be down for the count. Dang. You don't want that kind of weakness getting out. Okay, oh, wow. I mean, I really hope this doesn't actually come into play in any scenario, because that would be very <laughs> bad. You don't need any tiny one-punch mans. No. <laughs> I've also, I've never been in a fight, so, like, I'd, yeah. I'd probably be a, to my fight. disadvantage. I don't feel like it's a particularly bad thing that you've never been in one. No, I, I don't think hey, so I've, either. I've never been in a fight either, so, hey. I was in a one-punch fight, but that's it. <laughs> was, were you, like, <laughs> as part of the live-action anime? <laughs> no. All right, the Netflix adaptation. No, just high school. Mm. Mm. And so, who who was the one puncher and who was the one punchy? 
I was the one puncher, and the one punchy was a guy who was much more buff than me, but didn't fight back. Mm. But he, he was punching me on the shoulder, and I told him not to, like, several times. And so one day... Ah, uh, yeah. That's annoying. Punched him back. <laughs> gotcha. Hey! Did, oh, he dropped a legendary hey, item? Whoa, he dropped eight go. goblin skins. I nice. got an emerald brimstone chunk. And a cave one, hey. Yay! Hey, cave one. Nice. That was pretty good. That was a that was a really effective strategy. Yeah. yeah good. That's that's what we've been doing in the war zone. Top notch, dude. Top notch. Whoo. Okay. Oh, I picked up someone axe. Someone else's axe now. I don't know who's. Hmm. I'll just drop it here. Somebody can pick it up if they like it. They're forced to pick up a cave, though. <laughs> All right. I have nine goblin skins on my end now. That's exciting. Nice. Mm -hmm. I got a nuker, a cave, and an iron factory. Hmm. Did we actually get a legendary drop? Did someone get like a bandit I think it was, armor? I think it was the goblin skins. Was it the goblin skins, probably? Could have been that or uh, the emerald gemstone chunk. Oh, yeah, that too. Mm. Cool. Cool. Well, I don't have any more of those, unfortunately. So. <laughs> That's all we get, but well done. All we have to do is, um, you know, get like 10 more of those and then we might be able to make that set of armor, that green yep. set. Well, we don't necessarily need the uh, eggs. We can go to the war zone. Oh, sure, but then there's no guarantee we're going to be the ones to get the goblin True. skins from the drop. Yeah, and I think that depends on how much damage you put into them, because they it's not like the items drop like in a normal way. They just appear in your inventory, and I'm pretty sure oh, it has okay. to do with how much damage you, you put out. Yeah, huh. I think it does do that. Like, slightly better items if you are the highest damager. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Man, I feel like I had a really easy time there. It must be that like everybody else was... <laughs> Taking all the damage, and I was just able to deal it out. Yeah, as soon as I started getting punched, I was just like, oh, I'll back off, eat a golden apple, everything is good. No worries, no issues. So, thank you guys for tanking. Much appreciated. <laughs> oh, no, we all, I mean, that. I think that was pretty much everyone's experience. I will say it was yeah, pretty easy with the whole trapdoor thing. It was. Whoever discovered that, mad props, mad props, dude. Mm -hmm. Now all we need is a diamond generator. Like, honestly, this is ridiculous. Well, we can get it with the battle pass. Uh, what level? Uh, it is pretty far down the line. Um, I'm four challenges away from it. Wait, where is it? Let's see. It's on the third page of the rewards. Uh, oh, Diamond Factory 1. Oh, snap. I did not realize that. Okay. Let me see. What am I? <laughs> I am actually... Wait. Um, one, two, three. I'm actually only five away. Hmm. Oh, dude. I got to hit up some challenges, and then I'll be able to help There is out. one challenge we can do that's pretty easy. What is it? Uh, standing in a tent. Okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, craft five blaze wood. That's actually really easy. I can do that right now. Uh, yeah, that's that's easy, too, if we've got the blaze powder. We have, like, I mean, we have Oh, that's right. We've got the spawner rocks. now. Like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That was actually why it was changed, <laughs> because oh, okay. of that challenge. Uh, and then it was just blaze powder and wood, right? Like, that's it? Yep. And it doesn't even have to be logs. I thought it had to be logs, but it can be planks, too. Oh. Okay. So, if, I mean, it's it doesn't really matter, but... Dude, I don't want to be wasting logs out here. Those are valuable resources. Yeah. We can't chop those trees down for nothing. What do you mean one of five blaze wood crafted? Oh, yeah, you can't shift-click. Wow! 
Yeah, wow. You have to do All right. Cool, guys. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Got it. <laughs> All right, easy boys, easy. <laughs> okay, what's which one is the tent one? So it's on week three. Oh, and then take, once you have that selected, take cover with a friend under the tent. Okay. Yep, and we're friends, so we can do this. Oh, are we? Are we actually like friended? On no, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Mm. I just <laughs> want to be your friend, Jordan. Oh, dude, absolutely. I just didn't know if there's an actual function that we need to, like. <laughs> oh yeah. No, we need to add each other on Facebook first, and then it'll oh, work. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Right, right. All right, so let's see. Where is so, this? It's at spawn. I'll show you where it is. Okay. It's behind spawn. So we're just going to go around. Oh, it's the start of Diversity 3. Yay! <laughs> yeah, challenge... Completed. That's great. That's <laughs> that's quality. Okay, now what? Are there any other easy week threes? I mean, if I got some arrows, I could tackle that one. Um, did you do the uh, forsaken coal? Um, I did. Yes. Okay. Uh, if I if we had two gold blueprints, that one would be easy. It's, yeah. The easiest one, I think, in week three would be just getting some more arrows. Do we have enough for that? Um, do we have enough flint? Hmm. It looks like we have four flint and one arrow in the chests. Yeah! <laughs> Solid. I, need to I mean, I can spare more. some arrows themselves, but... Well, I mean, you probably have to do that, too, so... Right. Uh, we do have gravel, so I could just punch some gravel for a little bit. One arrow. I wonder if anyone's selling arrows in the auction house. That might also be a thing. That'd be a good thing to sell. Uh, surprisingly not. Huh. And the blacksmith doesn't sell arrows? Uh, nope. Nope. What a loser! What good are you? We could try getting arrows from these skeletons. Yeah, it's really slow going. It's slow, yeah. Okay. I mean, we do have a lot of chicken spawn eggs, so that's not really a problem. It's, um... Yeah, it's just the flint is tedious and grindy. Oh, did you buy a full set of iron armor, sword, and tools? I did, yeah. I pretty okay. much, I've taken care of all the really, really easy ones. Okay. We could participate in a raid. Uh, I mean, we could. I'm just, like, wondering, do we want to, I'm, I'm closer, I feel like, to the end, and I'm not sure if now is the time to begin a raid or not. Oh, okay, gotcha, yeah, yeah. But that is, I mean, that's that definitely something we can do at some point, and then, yeah, that'll put us in the mm -hmm. direction. Because I guess it doesn't say come out victorious, end up at yeah, a net positive, says, it just says true. participate. Mm -hmm. The question is, do we need to be raided, or can no, we raid no, somebody? No, you, you can raid somebody else. Okay. If only we could raid ourselves, I could do that right now. <laughs> Actually, we were able to raid ourselves last time, last season. Wait, what? Yeah, I was just thinking, I think there was a time when we were Yeah, there was. A, yeah. If we pulled a raid trigger right now, would we be able to raid ourselves? Actually, we'd probably be uh, protected from ourselves. Yeah. We've, we're protected from ourselves. <laughs> we're a danger to ourselves. <laughs> That's great. Also, I couldn't even find our siege workshop anyways, so... I don't know how to get a raid Oh, trigger. yeah, where is that? Uh, it was either taken during a raid or someone picked it up and hasn't put it back down. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have I mean, we can sure. buy one if we need to, right? Yeah. We can, yes. I, you don't sound yeah, excited just, about that. I guess I'll go. I'll go. fully upgraded one. Yeah, the fully oh, okay. upgraded one's totally good. 
Uh, sorry, chickens. So sorry. So sorry. Need feathers. Okay, I'm gonna buy a siege workshop. You are? Yeah. I mean, I have a raid trigger, so we, the problem is I think we'd have to unprotect well, ourselves for an hour. Yeah. So. Well, we're gonna need one anyways at some point, so I might as well just get it now. Okay. Minus plus minus one. And Ghoul, thank you for the subs. Much appreciated. Okay. I am making arrows. Sweet. We'll need those. Still don't... Well, it's really just going to be enough maybe for me to get closer to completing this challenge and not much else. Actually, though, I should do it on skeletons. Hopefully by next time we've got the skeleton grinder set up. That'd be cool. And that should give us that should give us a supply of arrows. Oh god dang it, I'm so dumb. Wrong week. Oh, uh, wasting arrows. Five hundred yeah, it, skeletons. That's, it's weird to me that you have to like select the week. It is. Uh, I it wonder. It's pretty arbitrary. I wonder if we can ask Beijing Canadian if there's a way to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Like, I wonder. I mean, it doesn't seem like a bug. It seems like a feature, but it just seems super arbitrary to me. I'm guessing it probably has something to do with the mechanic they use um, to kind of cycle through those lists. Mm -hmm. Or there might be like repeated challenges in the future or something. Yeah, possibly. I could see that. That makes sense if they repeat challenges. And you can't take care of the two challenges at once. I think you should be able to personally. <laughs> yeah. At least not two weeks challenges at once. Oh, wait. What I should do is this. Oh, 200 IQ plays. 200 IQ plays. <laughs> I'm saving arrows so much this way. Wait, can you... Can you actually do that? Oh, you can! Oh yeah, you can, yep. Oh, oh I never knew you could God. do that. <laughs> no, shoot, I messed up. I messed up my flow. There we go. Oh, you got some goblin skins already. Oh, really? Or at least one. Nice. Yeah, there's one sitting right there. No! Dang it. Now, everyone who's wondering, I'm doing this because it saves me arrows. Because <laughs> that way I don't have to use two arrows per kill, I just use one. Unless that happens. Stupid, sometimes it messes up for some reason. Um, if you want, like, I could do the first hit or something. Oh, that's that actually, yeah, time. that's a good way to do it. Oh wait, I shouldn't do that then, I guess. Hit it. Uh, okay, there, there we, we go. go. Why does that, that kill it? Okay. What the? What is happening? Um, I don't know. Let me get like an iron sword or something. No, then that might not actually be enough damage. I only have ten more arrows anyway. I need to. I need to go snag oh, okay. some more.
Come on, Flint. Whoa. Oh, Ronan just, just dropping arrows on my head. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Hey, nice. Okay. Shall we try that again? Let's do it. Okay. Uh... Somebody put a stack of arrows in the auction for 25,000. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I think this is working. Nope. Oh, wait, nope. Do it again. I don't know what the, what the deal is with it, but... What the... Hold on, let me do it again. Okay. I think, like, um, if if we kill it, the, the extra damage carries over to the next zombie somehow. Yeah, so I think it it's, it's a it's a thing weird. with when, when a new one spawns, it, it screws something up with it. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, or maybe it's, like, spawning at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it's not dying. I don't no. know. Because you can see the smoke effects happen when you actually do the kill. Right. Sometimes my bow, there's some kind of server lag thing. Hit it again. Some kind of, what the heck? Some kind of server thing where, uh, okay, on to the next one. Where my bow, like, won't actually charge. Um, and then it has to reset and do it again, so it adds extra time. Hmm. Yeah, it happens almost every time I have to charge my bow twice. Wait. That's so weird. Yeah. I guess Susie has two stacks of arrows. Oh, cool. Uh, well, I'm almost there. Wait, hold on. It says, uh, uh, Archer, wait, wait, wait. I think there's some other element to this now. Um, Archer. Uh, oh, haha, <laughs> never mind. That's gonna be trickier. Um, <laughs> I have to kill five players with a bow, too. Mmm, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good luck. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Oh, did you get the 100 monsters? I got the 100 monsters, yeah. Okay. Well, it'll just be good practice for your Hunger Games tournament with James Charles. Uh, yeah, that actually becomes a thing. We shall see. Oh, wait, what? I didn't hear about this. <laughs> it was just uh, on Twitter. It was a yeah, <laughs> I think it's, it's uh, very, very much just people saying things on Twitter for the time being. Oh. Thing. I'm sorry. To oh, it makes for some good content. We'll see, dude. We'll see. Right. Uh, amusing throne and pump fake left. Thank you for the subs and all that stuff. Much appreciated. Uh, you know what I could do is I could spend $100,000 in the marketplace. Uh, yeah, you could do that. Did you um, auction off some stuff too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh, if only I could get two gold. What would it be most worth uh, for me to buy? in the marketplace. Most worth. Mm. Well, technically, if you bought 100,000 coins of cobblestone, you could also sell all of that cobblestone <laughs> for the same price. So I'd have to mm. buy 100,000 cobblestone, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't really want to do that. Um, yeah, I don't blame you there. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds so fun. Yeah, filling up my how inventory. Um, how many times? Like a hundred times over? Sounds about right, I guess. Eh, maybe like 80 times over. Yeah, could be a little bit tedious, I guess. I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, one stack is only 128 coins, so... Blueprints. Um, a siege. Oh, oh, dang it. Someone just bought the siege workshop, huh? You can you can keep you can buy them. Oh, yeah, I did buy one. Yes. Dang it. So, yeah, unless you just want to waste money on it, I guess. 
Um, would it be worth having 20 more iron factories? It's tough because I, I still have some iron factories and it gets to a point where it's just too many, I think. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to buy. There's nothing super expensive and useful. Man, I hate not being able to figure out when I spoke. I could buy a hundred golden apples. I mean, I suppose those could come in handy. Um, yeah. Whatever, dude. There we go. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. That, that makes sense. Cool. Big spender, 64%. I'll buy a couple of iron factories. And... Oh, they're only... Wait. Oh, the build price is 5,000. They're only 1,000. Never mind. Wow, it's the same price for a golden apple as it is for a freaking iron factory. Good God. <laughs> well... I'll give you guys a lot of golden apples, I promise. Sounds good. Uh, I'm doing the same thing. There we go. Apples. Community golden apples. I'll put them in the uh, gold chest. And then, do we even have a, do we have a chest for like blueprints and stuff? Not here. Hmm. Um, oh wow, this just got filled up. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, you're good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Everything's pretty mixed up. You could just put them wherever. Well, I'll put them, maybe I'll put my iron factories at the old base. Hmm, okay, yeah. Oh, the signs aren't even here anymore. Never mind, I don't know which chest they go in. Um. Yeah, we haven't fixed that yet. What you doing over breaks. here? I'm making an auto smelter. Oh, okay. Hmm. Found a, found a design in the beta season. There was like an abandoned kingdom I found with one that was intact, so I'm copying that. Okay, nifty. Well, I guess I'll just put these up here. Cool. Okay, let's see. Ooh, wow. I got a uh, vanilla resource item chest that does 64 emerald, 128 diamonds, 256 gold, and 512 iron. Hmm, nice. I am two away from the diamond factory. So close, and yet so far. Participate oh, yeah. in one raid is easy. Kill 10 bandit captains is probably not crazy. The others are like, there are a few that are just grindy that I could do. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we if if you're getting near the end, I don't think we've got time for the captain thing. No, probably not, but no. something that I can do next time. Oh yeah, for sure. No one is selling any gold factories, sadly. Uh, nope. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a gold factory in the Oh really? House. Yeah, they're pretty rare. I mean, we only have five, and it's been we're on week three. Dang, dude! Dang, I'm pretty dude. sure we had. A, I'm pretty sure we had diamond factories by this point. Oh yeah, season. definitely, because you can oh, get them easily. No. Oh, I never got one, <laughs> but no, this season never, it'll change. By week three, I don't think the gold factories were even released. Or no, the gold factories. No, might gold have, factories were always were. around. Yeah, but the diamond factories weren't released yet. Hmm. It took uh, us quite a while remember. to build up last time. It's just that that was a longer season. So it felt like it, you know, was mm, probably okay. faster. All right. Actually, you know what? I have a rare blueprint spinner. Nice. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay, I really need some feels. Um, I would normally do this, like, leave this for suspense and open it next time, but if it's Diamond Factory, you might as well have it generating, like, between yeah, now and the next episode. So, <laughs> need luck. some luck. Come on, boys. Here we go. Come on, Diamond Factory. Come on, Diamond. 
I don't actually even see diamond in the rotation. Does it? Oh, it is. It's in the rotation. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Give me freaking diamond. No. No, I got a coal factory too. Dang. Jeez. Ouch. Uh, I have no luck when it comes to these. None whatsoever. God dang it. It's so disappointing. Rip. Well, rare spawner spinner, just in case there's skeletons, you can use that for challenges too, so I'll unlock that. Come on, skeleton spawner! Yeah, hopefully, we already got three zombies now, I just got a third one. Nice, nice. Uh, I just got a zombie spawner one as well. Nice. I guess I gotta put that down. Cool! Four blazemen, yay! That's very helpful to us because we don't have access to Blaze Man. God, I have no luck when it comes to any random lottery sort of stuff. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Eventually, you've got to get a diamond factory. Well, I'm going, I mean, it's guaranteed when I do two more challenges, yep. so. Oh, well, that's true, yeah. I guess I just meant with the spinners. Yeah. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave it off there. So, anyway, I guess I'll uh, catch you guys in a few days, perhaps. Yeah, sounds good. All right, man, yeah, we'll be here. All right, see ya, thanks for playing. See, see ya. ya, of course. Okay, uh, Brandon, thank you for the eight months, and the Talker of Gods, thank you for the four months. Much appreciated on those renewals, and um, yeah, we're going to leave it off there for now on Kingdoms. So thank you guys for tuning in once again. Series brought to you by the Kingdom server. If you feel like jumping on, it's play.kingdoms.games. IP is in the title of the stream and the description. If you're watching on YouTube, I do stream these live. You can tune in, you can tune in at twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles if you want to do that. Um, or you just subscribe on YouTube and watch the VODs there. Hop on the server. Build a kingdom of your own. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing raids. Don't you worry. I just really wanted to grind out those Battle Pass challenges and stuff like that. And I'm so close to the Diamond Gen which will be super helpful. Lame Carrot, thanks for doing the whole sub thing. Much appreciated. Um, anyway, we'll wind it down there. There's a playlist in the description if you want to catch up on any episodes you might have missed on YouTube. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.